Okay, rather than say that you are not an INFJ, I'm going to take some time to explain some of the reasons that people often are mistyped, be it an INFJ who's mistyped as INFP or INTJ, for example. Those are two common mistypes, and I'll explain why. Um, and it's also common for them to be mistyped the other way. The reason for this is in the MBTI, uh, a lot of the tests ask questions in a way that, um, well, for example, when it comes to judging and perceiving, they treat it as if um, the wording is weird. The wording is weird. They try to ask you if you're organized or not when you're taking the test, you're not sure how they might be referring to it. It might be like referring to what society deems as being organized, which is everything looking nice and orderly, like in the minds of other people. And so when it's asking if we're organized, it's not asking about if we have our own internal sense of organization. Um, but that's actually not a good uh, way to figure out whether or not a person is a judging or perceiving type because it, what it really comes down to is cognitive functions. Um, personally, as an INFJ, I'm extremely disorganized if you look at it from the perspective of an outsider. Um, to me, <laughs> the way I would describe it is my organizational style is um, ordered chaos. And I say this because to other people, it just looks like looks like a mess. It looks like everything is just all over the place. Um, the truth is, when it comes to my organizational style, I don't know where everything is in just a second. Like I don't have to really stop and think about it. It's, it's sure a mess to other people, but everything has a place. Even if it doesn't make sense to other people, it's, it's my place for it. And um, in school, like for example, people used to make fun of me. Well, my friends used to make fun of me because of my backpack. Uh, I never was really one to do folders. Um, but I knew where things were based upon like, you look at it like, like um, I guess you could look at like the Grand Canyon and um, see the different levels of uh, uh, fossils or like, I don't know, the different types of stone indicating a different type of era. Well, my backpack was kind of like that. Newer stuff was on the top, older stuff was <laughs> further down. <laughs> and it worked for me. It worked, even though to everybody else it was completely disorganized and that's something that would be associated with the perceiving, perceiving function. Um, and it's it's not it's not a good indicator in itself of whether or not I'm a judge or a perceiver. And originally, the judging and perceiving functions weren't something that were supposed to be standalone. Um, standalone um, indi indicators, I guess you could say. Um, originally. Uh, Carl Jung, the person who created um, the personality typing system that MBTI is based off of, um, he spent a lot of time uh, trying to flesh out what we know as cognitive functions. Um, when it comes to organization and INFJs, we have um, internal thinking, and that means we have an internal internal system of organization. So we have, well, pretty much our own own way of ordering things that's distinct from what other people would consider objectively organized. Um, another thing is um, 
the wait, because the perceiving and the judging functions are so misleading on the tests, you'll see a lot of people who are um, INFPs type as INFJs or INFJs type as INFPs, and the INFJs typing as INFPs might be a little bit more apt to realize hmm, something doesn't quite feel right here. But in a lot of INFPs, they they're more than happy to be told they're the most unique type because there's a lot of type or Enneagram INFPs out there, um, though there are also, it seems, a lot of um, type 4 Enneagram INFJs, which as an INFJ is a little bit confusing to me because one big thing about uh, Enneagram 4 is that it values being unique being uh, different, like standing out from the crowd, where whereas if you're somebody who's been uh, raised feeling like you are different or weird, but wanting to fit in, being different isn't, isn't something that you'd want to aspire towards because you're used to feeling alienated. So I don't really get it. I don't really get that, but um, just from observation, there's a lot of type fours. And I'd, I'd wager to say a lot of type fives and some type nines, which is uh, what I am, I'm a type nine. Um, another reason that an, an INFJ might be mistyped or people might be mistyped as INFJ is um, the way that they describe thinking, um, they don't really differentiate between external thinking and internal thinking. In fact, I think a lot of the questions they ask are based on whether or not you're an, um, well, it's more like um, extroverted thinking, which isn't even one of the primary INFJ functions. But a fair amount is still internal thinking, and when it comes down to it, a lot of the uh, feeling questions, being internal feeling, um, they're easy to they're easy to say, oh, that's not something that I normally do. Like INFJs are thinkers too, even though. Um, the type code is INFJ. We have internal thinking as our uh, tertiary function. At least I believe that's how it's pronounced. I could be wrong there. But um, uh, it's not that we don't have our own organizational system. It's not like we don't think. In fact, INFJs plan a lot, so that involves thinking. So. Um, it's just part of being future oriented. There's a lot of if thens when we look at things. But something I notice is that INFPs are usually more organized than INFJs. Like way more organized, like according to like what the objective standard might be. And that would probably be due to the fact that they have extroverted thinking as some one of the primary functions. Um, but yeah, like if, if my mom, for, as an example, my room, um, is what my mom would consider messy. My mom is an ESFJ. So she comes in trying to do something nice and organizes everything. Now, for me, this is upsetting because her method of organization, uh, causes me to not know where anything is anymore and I can't find anything at all even though it makes perfect sense to her makes no sense to me and it's just a problem and it, it's a little bit distressing um I'm trying to think of what else um I personally have mistyped as INTJ a lot because of the fact that I um I like just theorizing about things, and it's not that I'm not interested in people, which it, because of the fact that it's like, um, yes or no on a lot of the questions rather than a gradient scale, 
um, but kind of like put me on the thinking side, even though it's just about abstraction and more um, intuition related than thinking related. And like, for example, I'm kind of curious about the underlying structure of things in general. Um, including people, like what's happening, what's going on in their like subconscious mind, um, what drives their behaviors, why, like just why in general, why, why are things the way they are, how, do, how do they work, like how, how does how they work relate to why they are the way they are, um, that's an interplay between um, introverted intuition and introverted thinking. Right there. Um, they both are um, a good combination for each other. And when you take in what's happening on an exter external feeling, um, uh, outward view, you can really kind of use like different types of patterns to discern what exactly is being observed and kind of uh, have it associated with different, um, it's almost like there are algorithms that are being formed that are kind of like shortcuts and generalizations. Um, that is here. But, um, what else? Hmm. I used to think I was INTJ a long time because I valued logic so much. Like, I value logic so much because I value understanding, though. And when it comes to intuition, intuition is about understanding, understanding patterns or associations between things. So it doesn't make me a thinker to value that and it doesn't mean that I don't value people and that's what the test would want to assume or make the conclusion of and that's why it might say oh I belong more in the thinking category than I do in the feeling one something that I have noticed though is INFJs tend to be kind of balanced in terms of their feeling and thinking functions because of the fact that like they're secondary and um third function, the um, auxiliary, auxiliary and tertiary functions. So that'd be external feeling and internal thinking um, usually are pretty close to being balanced with each other. So you'll see, um, if you look at the results of like an MBTI test that doesn't have like, you know, like, um, like a um, spectrum type deal going on, you get like about like somewhere around 50-50 on there, maybe a little bit more to one side than the other. It's very mm, close, it's a very close um, uh, it's very close um, I guess Um, I'm just kind of blanking out here, though. Very close margin. Is <laughs> it's kind of hard to think right now, but because it's such a close margin, that's why there's so much room for error. It's easy also for an INFJ perhaps to say, oh, I can see this in myself when they look at INFP's profiles or INTJ profiles, because to some extent we do relate to those things. And it's kind of the uh, Boyer effect. Um, 
we focus on the things that we relate to and say, oh yeah, that's that's something I relate to, so this is accurate, when we don't realize there could be a more accurate profile. So I'm not sure how many INFJs are mistyped as INTJ and INFP are not unaware of the fact that they were mistyped simply because it wasn't a spectrum test they took and it wasn't asking the right questions, but instead was being extremely misleading. See, according to MBTI, if I were to take the test again right now, I'm pretty sure I would type either um, INTJ or INTP. Um, simply because it value abstraction, and it's not, it's not even that I value, like, I don't value organization more than I value people, but that's not what it would be asking, because it won't that into the perceiving and judging category, rather than, um, feeling and thinking. Um, I sit here and think about some of the other reasons that people would be mistyped. And a lot of people get really defensive when they are told that they're mistyped because they like form some sort of ego attachment to whatever their type code is, like it defines them. But that's not true because um, personality types, they're basically just archetypes laid out. Nobody's strictly an archetype. It's just what's supposed to be what we most are related to, not, not something that defines who we are. But a lot of people um, come to the wrong conclusion about it. They say, oh, I am this type, so whatever it says about this type also pertains to me. But that's not the correct way to look at it, really. Um, aside from that, there are some pretty good tests out there, like um, on Keys to Cognition, if you look that up, the test there I'd say is pretty good because of the fact that it gives you a um, scale of like one to five, one um, not me at all, five being this is me exactly. Um, and it looks at cognitive functions um, specifically rather than looking at things as if it's a dichotomy has to be one or the other. Because in reality, there are different degrees to which we relate to things. And MBTI um, a lot of times doesn't give room for um, degrees of preference. And that's something that leads to a lot of error. And I'd say that when it comes to typology, INFJ is um, one of the most, um, sim uh, they're simply the easiest type to mistype probably. Um, along with, like, say, INFP and INTJ. Um, but there are some pretty distinct differences if you look at it from, um, I guess, an intuitive perspective. You can pick up on uh, different like body, body language, um, information, feedback, different ways of phrasing things, um, different ways of expressing the things that matter to them, different values, so on and so forth. Um, aside from that, There were probably a bunch of things that I'm not thinking about at the moment that I'll probably recall as soon as I shut the video off because that's just how it works. 
Um, for now, I'll just um, and listen, let things kind of process and kind of like just rehash, like, okay, what, what I said here in the video, um, what else is there? Um, how else can I explain things? Why, um, what are some of the other reasons why? Um, I'll add that in the next video, I guess. Because I've seen, I've observed, um, like, in forums and stuff like that, so many different instances of mistyping. Um, and it's weird because the people who were INFJs, like, who had introverted intuition among ourselves we kind of like knew if somebody like was there who wasn't an INFJ like just without words we all kind of just knew and we could also pick up on if somebody had like a personality disorder or something like that and sometimes I'd ask the other INFJs um just personally do you have a weird feeling about this person? I'm getting weird vibes, like something is off. And it turns out we'd be often thinking very much the same thing, even though we weren't um, speaking about it before then. So 